Hi there and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Now let's get on with today's video. So, what can I say? Best laid plans, right? So what I ended up doing is I wanted to do two junk journals side by side. I'm gonna show you the other one. It's right over here. Of course, I didn't have it with me because that's just how the, this goes. And so I started this one out and started tearing the pages so that I can do them side by side and show you all that. Yeah, that didn't happen. What happened is the night that I tore out pages, I was so excited about beginning on this one that I stayed up and then I stayed up again and then I stayed up again. And then about, oh, I don't know, four or five days, I had this one done. So I thought I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this and then hopefully work on the other one too and then see how that goes. But um, that just goes to tell you that I have just no self-control when it comes to doing these. So I wanted to show you how this one turned out. This is the um the front page i'm gonna just zoom in here and it's a book about princesses like adult uh not adult but like grown-up princesses and um anyway so the the book was kind of cute and um but not really full of substance at all so i just kept the fairy tale elements like in that and just kind of started painting and drawing and really had a great time with all of that. Oh, by the way, the, the clock hands move in this. So I thought that was kind of cute. And that's a Tim Holtz clock. It's like a distress clock cut out. So I have it at, at midnight for Cinderella. Actually, I'll do a little bit to midnight. So it was super, super fun and um, like an interactive right at the beginning. And then here's a pocket with just a couple more of my art and some painted paper. And this one is just stuck on there, but this is like a, a little fold out pocket so you can put a couple other things in there. And then I left this page cause I didn't know what to do with it. This one didn't know what to do with it. So just a couple of I'm gonna call them breathing room pages, but also once I start writing and journaling, it'll hopefully, you know, have some I don't know, maybe some direction that it goes in. Just a couple blank pieces of paper in here, just for journaling spots. I'm, again, not totally sure on this. And this is the negative out of a die cut. So I was cutting out some butterflies and then the piece of paper that I cut them out of, I just kind of backed it with a little bit of this, I don't know, grocery sack craft paper and called it good. And this is a cool fold out of a hand dyed paper that I made. And then I decided to put some super cool silver and blue paint. And I chose blue because this is a navy. And so that was really nice. This is a card someone gave me, but I don't remember who. And so I kind of put a little piece of paper in there so that it becomes a journaling spot. And so this one, the card, this is a card. Um, it just gets kind of tucked in to this belly band. And you could do it this way or that way, it doesn't matter. But if you do it this way, it adds a little pop of color and has a nice fold out spot if someone wants to just journal in there and keep that tucked in. This is a part of these little vellum pieces that I got and then I added a piece of, I don't know if you can see, like copper wire to this, there we go, to this paper clip and just put a dangle on there. And this just folds out like that. And then just some scribble, scrabble paint. And I wanted to have this kind of writing spot here. And maybe again, put something in there. Just a little piece of junk mail that kind of coordinated with some washi tape. I took some origami paper, put it here with some grid line paper and just uh, paper clipped a card here with some swans on there. One of the things I really wanted to do with this junk journal altered art book was do a lot of flip outs. So this is a, a Disney ad that I got with this really cool vellum um, with the, one of their cruise ships. And then it says, princesses meet pirates, heroes meet destiny, and dreams really come true. So. I thought, you know what? It's navy blue and goes into my princess junk journal. And then this 
It's just a piece of paper, kind of accordion fold, just a three by five card that is um, with washi tape and this is glued down right here. It kind of looks like a notepad, but it's like a faux notepad and my, I might actually staple some sheets to it if I so desire later on, I'm not positive. Um, just a piece of binder paper and then one of these time cards paper clipped in. So this time, one of the things I did was I just kept, uh, I, I put a bunch of muslin on paper clips and just kept the same paper clip all the way through. Here I put, I wrote in or drew in a, like a, I don't know, Spanish galleon, pirate ship, whatever you wanna call it. And then when I glued the map, it actually, kind of was folded in a way that it was here. So I just kept the fold, glued a little sheet of paper, and then made it this way. And then this art, it has like the world, the world, the world. So I made the world. And you can see, I like it because you can see the writing behind it. I, I, I like that because it kind of keeps the original intent of the book. Just some blank and a little extra sheet of scrapbook paper i didn't even do anything to the words there just because they get folded up anyway and then i found this little piece of something that says princess on it um this is decoupage napkin there's a little bit of shoot for shoot for the stars um it's just a little list pad that my daughter has so she she wrote me a note and then i don't know what it was just a reminder and then ripped off the rest, so I just kept it for my junk journal because it truly was junk. And then for the stars, I put um, a moon and stars. And then did something else with this one. I actually took a chopstick and then I poked a ribbon through and then I tied some charms. And this one is a star that says wish. And that one he is here, you know, like when you wish upon a star. And then I also um, added, so this is just that same piece of ribbon, just fed through. I actually glued it into place so it wouldn't move too much. And then my soda top bottle and then some buttons and bobbles right there. So it has some really cute dangles. So anyway, um, the star lives right by the moon and stars. A blank paper with, you can see the paint coming through. This one's from a replica of a Bloomingdale's catalog. So I just took a photocopy of it, colored it and added some bling. And there's some writing here about a wedding at a country manor. So that's why there's a pretty bride there. And then some other paper here. And this is just some extra cards and pieces of paper that I put in with a little key. And just some random paper clips here and there. This I thought was really cute. It said mirror, mirror on the wall. And then I just kind of, this is like the only mirror-ish paper that I had. So I put that in there. And then uh, one of my favorite pages, and it's just some brown with some bronze paint. And then I wanted this because it, it said our unfinished stories. And so I wanted this to be like a little tiny, tiny book. So I glued it down but I made it look like a little book and I even even tied it. <laughs> um, and then just a blank card here and then a one of my tea, um, tea bag holders, I guess. And it just says, savor your day. And I drew on there and it says tea and an open book. And so that gets tucked right in there. So just hang on and save your tea bags and the little um, envelope that it comes in because they just make really great um, tuck spots and even the, it, sorry, I just moved the camera. Even, you know, something that you can put other things into. So a little moon and star in this fold up envelope and that's just a piece of long paper. I have another video that shows that. This is the glassine part of an envelope. So uh, I was just cutting one. Let me show you how I did do that. It's just, you know, this part and you can just cut it and then do whatever. And this one I turned inside out. So there's the 
front of the envelope and I just put a little tag and then glued all of this stuff down so that it's not loose at all. I painted in here. I just felt like painting flowers. It was late. That's what I could come up with. And then I did a double fold out, which I show in another video how to do that. And it's actually really easy. You just glue two sheets of paper, two sheets of paper, and washi tape it all together. That's it. And then another one of my favorite pages, and I don't know if you can read it, but it says castles in the air, and it says hearts to soar upward. And so I drew some castles up in the air. So. It, again, goes with a fairy tale theme and just um, a page out of a coloring book. And I just decoupaged a little bit of a napkin and just kind of made this little pocket here. And then this just has some cute things in there. Okay, um, this is a Tim Holtz bird in a cage die cut. So I um, did that. It, makes my daughter crazy that the little birdie's legs sticking out so I'm gonna have to glue that down actually or not I might keep keep it looking crazy for her there's some more of the washi I mean washi or origami paper um some coffee dyed binder paper decoupage napkin bird bird so I don't know if the bird in the cage goes with the fairy tale but I like birds they kind of make an appearance in every art journal for me. Um, here's another page out of the Bloomingdale catalog. It is a wedding reception gown from the 1800s, doesn't really say. And this is talking about Princess Diana's uh, being princess for a day. Well, she was more than a princess for a day, but anyway, this is just a post-it. I haven't even done anything with this little piece of paper that I folded up and just kind of stuck under there because I was running out of ideas. A couple other paper clipped and then I just painted some of these squares. I may add some art as I go along in journal. So I wanted to leave some spots in there so that I could do that. Um, this is just a coffee dyed envelope. I didn't even tuck anything in yet. So this guy is supposed to go inside that envelope. And again, the navy blue theme. A little, another map. A uh, blank page and then some music sheets and it says the bear song so what I'm doing is just picking out like words and deciding what to do so here are some of my other art pieces in this book which make me super happy because I love cards and also I asked my daughter I said I want this to be fairy tale theme it's a book about princesses and kings and queens and stuff so what do I do and she said how about card art so I drew a jack but it says prince on there and then it says heart so so cute and then this is the other part of the um envelope that I use the glassine window out of and kind of put a oh yeah this is not this is not a booklet it's actually an accordion fold. How about that? A little bit of washi tape in there and then just colored the background blue just because. This one you could tell either I was asleep or maybe I was awake early and just ran out of ideas again. It's okay if you don't have ideas for every single page as you're actually utilizing and writing in this junk journal and art journal you will start drawing and doing other stuff. So it's not an issue. This is just a clear plastic bag that I bought some stuff in and I just cut it, put it in here. It's all good. This one, I folded it a little bit different. It's another part of the hand dyed paper that I have and I made a little tab out of this same kind of cutout stuff from a book jacket. And then this is a little um, card that I stamped and so this was a rubber stamp and then this folds out has a little paper clip and this one i didn't put one of these knotted because i want to be able to write and not have it get in the way that's a decoupage napkin this is all glued down just coffee dyed paper there's my king he makes me pretty happy um as you can tell i painted it folded it up and then um when i woke up in the next morning there's some paint blotches on the solid gray i thought it looked kind of cool so you know, 
keep it because that's just art. And by the way, that says king and then at the bottom it says all shall be well. So kept some words and letters in there. I found this card, it says they lived happily ever after. And by the way, the chapter is called Happily Ever After. I thought that was kind of cute. And then my queen at the very end. And it just says princess heart. So, you know, princess, queen, whatevs. It doesn't matter. Um, this is just a fold out grid paper. My origami paper finally makes its appearance in its entirety. And it's a fold down envelope, but I just kind of left it open. And then my daughter is following suit and she made me that um, so, so pretty. Her art is very delicate. She loves tiny, teeny little art. And it just makes me super happy. She just bought some two by two canvases to just start drawing little giftable art. And again, that makes me happy too because our art isn't just for ourselves; it's to share. So couple pieces in there. This is a belly band. This actually is the back of an envelope that I received. I think it's like progressive insurance or something like that. Um, a couple just um, stamped pieces of paper. This is a coffee dyed, I don't know, something pretty. Yeah, just put that in there. Absolutely dull and boring page, which it's kind of embarrassing to have that in here, but that's okay. Again, a, a breather in a space. This is another, just a bill envelope that I painted. And then you've got the window with just scraps. There's not anything exciting or special in there. But now you can see this little crown, which is super exciting. And then the book actually had some blank papers. And then I put this little crown on a clip and called it the end so i hope you like this journey through my junk journal art journal whatever thing this is conglomerate and i think it's just fun because um, i think everybody's stuff should not look the same we should have something different for each of our i don't know just our creations so this one's done now I want to work on this and I hope that I can do it on videos. So just I'll see how, what I want to progress through. Sometimes my brain just gets ahead of me and I just kind of get into the zone and start working. So anyway, um, and I hope that you got some new ideas on art. I hope you got some new ideas on how to do a junk journal. Maybe add a ribbon, maybe add a charm, do something like that. And happy crafting until next time. Bye.